Hi, I'm Tommy Krasik. And I'm Eric Gustelin. And we are the directors of Spider-Man Seasons of Change. That's <laughs> 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 alright. The final sequence of the film. Here we have yeah, Peter Parker. No way. Here he heard on the radio, oh, da -da. Clutter going downtown. And he picks up the suitcase. So straight away, not detrimental to the plot or anything, but just subtle Easter egg. So that is BP Ben Parker, his Uncle Ben. So obviously his Uncle Ben is dead. Um, and yeah, this is just a little nod, just a show the expanded universe, show the other characters that are in this universe, and Ben Parker is definitely one of them. So yeah, it's something that's just very, very small, but yeah, it's just there for you guys. So moving forward, so yeah, we really wanted to just build this up a little bit. We didn't necessarily want to just grab it, open up the suitcase. We want it to be nice and slow for the spider suit reveal. So yeah, like I said before at the library, this logo here was the one that he was drawing up on the piece of paper. So this is now his final suit. Finally, being Spider-Man, he's taking the suit. So originally, they were gonna have this, looks up into the camera, his nice cheeky smile. We were gonna end the film there. I was happy with that, fade to black, the credits roll. I felt it was a nice way just to, he's gonna be Spider-Man, he's looking to the future, he's, the possibility of this new suit, what this means for Spider-Man in the future, his iconic look, um, and yeah, him just smiling, looking off into the distance, happy to end it there. But the genius, the genius over here, he goes, let me try something. <laughs> I'm like, all right. Obviously being a Spider-Man film, you can't not end it with your final swing. So um, I had been working on this while working on other things, but I rebuilt the, the entire suit based on the one that we just saw in the briefcase and made it you know, match Will's proportions or, or mine, I guess. Obviously it beefed me up a little bit, but... <laughs> <laughs> but then uh, we added this 15 second shot, which, you know, references all our childhood memories, I guess. We had, uh, obviously, the Tom Holland spinning dive off the top of the, uh, the, top of the building. Um, followed quickly by Toby, the OG. I love this part, yeah. <laughs> That's like one of my favourite parts, definitely. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show the speed of Spider-Man. This is, well, this is my favourite part, the little spin off the building. But obviously, the weight of Spider-Man, you gotta show as much of that as we can. And then, yeah, this little spin from the web that was from our favourite Spider-Man, Andrew. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, we never got to see the third one, so kind of made it here, I guess. <laughs> um, but because it, we all did such a good job yeah. being our Spider-Man, I said, oh, hey, why don't you chuck your signature on the suit? And, you know, that's not really for anyone but us. You know, we just that is the biggest plot point point in the film and no one caught it. <laughs> <laughs> that was the, the key detail as to how Chameleon looks. Uh, Chameleon Court Gwen. That's, and that, that's the entire plot. Explained we, everything in that. How we moved from the oh, yeah. no, from the warehouse oh, to the yeah. center back so quickly. Um, if you guys would love to see that, we've thought about this to release like a little comedy skit of Chameleon rushing to the powerhouse, like graffiti building, <laughs> after taking the photo of Gwen, quickly printing it off, rushing there. As he gets there, Spider Man's there. He's hiding, whatever all this stuff. We have this. Very comedic idea to do it. So if you want to see that, let us know. Let us know. Let us know. <laughs> um, obviously, more, you know, because we love the amazing Spider Man so much, there's more, you know, details in the suit, like the big spider on the back. And mm -hmm. The lighting was done using HDRs or HDRIs, um, but it's basically just like a 360 picture of anywhere and it uses the light from that picture to sort of recreate the entire scene. All these, all the cars down the bottom, every, everything is added in to try and make New York. I don't even know if these buildings are from New York. I just found them and stuck them in. So <laughs> if you're from New York, let us know. And just trying to add as many elements to this as possible to try and sell it. I guess like this here is just a picture. It was cop cars. cars. Yeah, the cop cars. Were that was something that we decided on late. Yeah, lights. Yeah, the lights. Yeah, because. I think there was like, yeah, a little bit of a scene here between the CG and the photo. And, um, right. yeah. Actually, yeah, you can see it here. 
my scene finishes right here and then the picture is sort of like just ducks well, yeah somewhere back there that's under, underneath this road is which is where my scene finishes but all the buildings sort of blend nicely into one another i think so too i think it's just the more so the the alley the street itself it looks like it just continues on so yeah i think that was done very well but you really if you picked up on that you're better than you're me. better than <laughs> you're better than us and that is spider-man season of change yep so i've been tommy krasik i'm eric osterlund and yeah i guess we'll see you next time man. what if he's even ended on last time <laughs> suck at the endings Send it a bit. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> 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 <sighs>